Do you need your super smart AI agent to automatically generate a support ticket on HubSpot? Well, let me show you how on this video. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to make your AI agent automatically generate a support ticket when requested. And this is going to be done on HubSpot. Now, to accomplish this, we're going to use a third party service, which is Zapier. It's going to act as a bridge for JotForm and HubSpot. Now, you can use other automation softwares out there like Make, Public Connect, N8N, and other automation applications. Okay. So in this case, we're going to use Zapier for the bridge. Okay, so let's get started. This is my main workspace. And to get started, we're going to jump into my agent section. So let's go ahead and click on my workspace, go to my agents and select the agent that you wanted to act automatically in generating the support ticket. In this case, I'm going to use this one, which is the customer support AI agent. I'm going to edit the agent. And in this section, we're going to jump into train and in train, we're going to go into actions. Now actions work as conditional logic. So if something happens, it's going to do something. And in this case, if someone requests a support ticket, it's going to generate a support ticket. All right. So let's get started. The first setting that we have right here is channels. So select if you want this to work with all the channels in the AI agent or just the chatbot or just the phone, etc. Just uh, turn these off if you don't want them to work in these situations. Okay. In this case, we want it to work on all channels. And then the when. So what is going to happen in order for the AI agent to think and create the support ticket? All right. So in this case, there are several options like a conversation starts, which not might be ideal for this. You maybe wanted to work afterwards. So maybe someone doesn't want to create the support ticket right in the beginning. So that might not be a good option. Then we have the option for the user wants to, and this could work. For example, the user wants to open up a support ticket or they want to complain, etc. Then it's going to generate that ticket. So for example, if the user talks about that also works. So if they talk about those situations, if they are angry and they want to talk to someone higher up in the ranks, then that could trigger creating a support ticket. Or if the user talks about or the user sentiment is um, angry, if the user provides, uh, for example, a support ticket, then generate something, etc. All right. In this case, for example, if the user wants to, so if the user wants to open up a support ticket, open support ticket, then it's going to trigger this. So it's way different. The user wants to, or the user talks about because the user wants to, is like an intent that it actually wants it. Right. And the user talks about, it might be a random talk where they talk about, uh, open up a support ticket for something else. And it triggers this. Maybe that's not my, something you don't want to trigger. So in this case, the user wants to make you make sure that this is what they want. Okay. And what, what is it going to do? Well, in order to trigger this, we are going to use the API feature. So it's going to send an API request. Now don't get scared. There's no coding needed. I will show you how to, how to set this up. Okay. So the first thing we need to set up is the API method. In this case, it's going to be post. So it's going to post a data. All right. And then we need the link, which is going to be grabbed from Zapier. Okay. So let's go into Zapier. Here we go. Let's create a brand new zap. Let's go into zaps. And in this case, we want to use the trigger, which is going to be the trigger for Zapier. So just like you saw on job for AI agents for the actions, there needs to be a trigger. So when to do something, right? So let's go ahead and select trigger. And in this case, it's going to be webhooks. And let's go ahead and trigger the event. And it's going to be a catch hook. So remember, job for AI agents is going to post and Zapier is going to catch. All right, so it's going to continue. Here we go. We don't need a child key. It's going to continue. And here we go. We got this link. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's go back over here and add it to the end point. Next thing we need to do is click on the gear icon. So let's go ahead and select this. And we have options for the HTTP header, which is not needed in this case. But in case you need a key or a bearer token, etc., this would be the way to set up. In this case, we don't need it. So Let's go into the request data. So there's static values which are useful if you know exactly what you want to uh, add over there. For example, if you have a form that you want this to trigger in the AI agent and then from the form send those static values, that works out. But there's a better option and a super easier way to set this up, which is AI generated values. You practically tell it what you need and the AI agent is going to be super smart and it's going to automatically ask the questions that it needs to generate the ticket. Okay. 
So the key for this one is going to be, for example, name. And in this case, we need the uh, uh, first name. There we go. The next value it's going to be, and I'm actually going to say first name here, right? And then we've got last name, last name. And again, over here, last name. Next thing we need is the email and it knows I need the email here. And next question I want to ask is, for example, the issue. All right. In this case, in this case, for example, issue for support ticket. There we go. Now we can add more data that we need in order to make our support ticket on HubSpot really robust. But in this case, I want to keep it simple. All right. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and test our API request. And the first time we need to do this, we need to manually add the values. So I'm going to say uh, Jorge over here, Aguilar, and the email, I'll say test at test.com. And the issue is uh, my computer uh, doesn't work, right? Let's go to continue. And that's that data is going to be sent off. So let's go into Zapier and test the trigger, right? So here we go. It found some data. There's a request A. It's empty. Nothing is there. We got request B. And this is where we grab the data. So if you go ahead and test this again, there's going to be a request C, a D, etc., and select the correct one. In case you modify it, then go ahead and select the next one. All right. So here we go. Let's go ahead and continue with this. And then we want to connect with HubSpot. All right. Here we go. HubSpot. And next, we need to set up the HubSpot situation to create a ticket. So the action event. So what do I want to do? And in this case, I want to create a ticket. So let's go ahead and do so here. And then I need to connect to my HubSpot account. In this case, I am already connected, but if you are not, it will ask you to log in, accept the terms that Zapier is going to be sending data on your behalf to HubSpot, right? So we're good to go here. Let's go ahead and continue, right? And then we need the details. So the ticket name will be the last name. In this case, the ticket pipeline support ticket. This, this is variable grab from HubSpot. If you need to create a different pipeline, go ahead and do so in the ticket section. All right. That is available right here. All right. So we're good to go. So next thing we need to set up is the ticket stage. And it's going to be new or waiting on contact. Waiting on contact would be good. All right. The activity uh, close date, we can set all this up. In this case, I will be leaving it empty for now. But you can set all that up by asking it on job for me. I eat. Okay. And next thing we want to set up is the issue. Right. So in ticket description, we are going to set the issue, right? So let's go ahead and continue this. Let's test the step. And that should be ready to go. Let's get a few seconds. And here we go. The ticket was created, right? So let's go into HubSpot. Let's go into our tickets. Here we go. Let's make sure that this is done. And here it is. Aguilar is the ticket name, the support pipeline, ticket status, waiting on contact the ticket owner, the source, last activity, etc. All right, so we got it now created. So let's go back into Zapier. Now you can add more steps to this if you want to make it more robust or you could be good to go and publish it right away. Now let's go ahead and test this out. So let's go into our job form AI agent. Let's click OK. Don't forget to save this. If not, it won't work. And let's go ahead and test it out. So let's go into publish. Let's go into our link right here. Let's go into the chat bot. And let's go into our AI agent. And here it is. Here is my ready to go. So I'm going to say hello. How are you? All right. And we're just going to be friendly, etc. We're doing great. And we can go ahead and continue with this. But you know what? I want to go straight to this. I, I want to create a support ticket. All right. So remember, this is the action getting triggered because I'm telling it that, that this is what I want. OK, so now it knows that I need the first name. And in this case, I'm going to say a uh, Sam. Sam Sammy, All right? It's going to be the last name. Here we go. And remember, as I mentioned before, with the automation on the action where it knows what it needs to ask, it's really a great option. OK, so next thing we need is the email. So I'm going to say a uh, test three at test.com. Here we go. Uh, next question will be describe the issue. So in this case, it, it doesn't work, right? That's just going to be it. That's what I'm going to say. And that's going to trigger it. All right. And I think that's the last question. Or did I ask something more? Oh, right, here we go. We're done. Your support ticket has been created. 
and it now sent via API request. It posted the API request to Zapier. Zapier is going to be the bridge. It's going to receive that information and it's going to generate the support ticket on HubSpot. That's automatically. I don't need to do anything manually. So it's a super great option. Now, in this case, Zapier works by grabbing this information every single uh, five to 10 minutes. So we should be waiting. Oh, it's already there, but it sometimes it takes a bit longer depending on the planet you are on on Zapier. So here it is. Here's Sammy. It's pipeline ticket status, create a date and the owner, etc. And I can set all this up with the automation if I ask the correct questions. So I can set priority based on the action intent, the source, the last activity, etc. All that can be available when generating the support ticket. So it's a really fantastic option to automatically make your AI agents generate a ticket on HubSpot. I thank you all for watching. Please let me know here in the comments what you think about this automation to generate support tickets and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.